So I've talked a lot on this channel about IT certificates, and I've also talked a lot on this channel about college degrees. But the question is, which one is actually better in order to land an IT related job? And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly which one is better for your particular situation. And we're gonna go over topics like who each one is for, different jobs that you can land, the benefits, the barrier to entry, the cost, different anecdotes about them, the dedication needed, the pros and cons, and the recommended courses. So if you appreciate us doing this type of video, let me know by gently tapping that like button. And let's jump into it right away with who this is for. Well, IT professional certificates are basically going to be for people who are high school graduates, but they haven't gotten a college degree yet necessarily, or people who did get a college degree, but they kind of got a useless degree that isn't helping them to get a job. Also for individuals who want to break into the IT industry quickly and cost effectively. And they're also really good for individuals who value flexibility and they need to balance learning with other commitments. So for instance, somebody who already has a family. They're also good for career switchers. So people who got into a different career, they don't like it anymore, they wanna switch into IT, but they don't wanna to have to spend years and a fortune on getting a new college degree. And they're for people who are already in the tech field, but they're looking to upskill or validate their experience with industry recognized credentials. And these certificates can definitely help you to do that. So basically people who are already working in tech who want a promotion or a raise. Now, who are college degrees for? for individuals that seek a comprehensive education and long-term career development. And by comprehensive education, I mean you're gonna learn a lot of stuff that has absolutely nothing to do with IT, and you're gonna learn a lot of stuff that's kind of hypothetical and theoretical, but it's not that practical. And you're gonna learn a little bit of practical stuff as well. But you might learn practical stuff that was good five, 10, or 20 years ago, but isn't good now. Ubuntu, I'm going to learn. Ubuntu. And they're also suitable for people who value a broad academic foundation. So there is something to be said for having a little bit of knowledge in a lot of different areas, and that is something that college does for you. They make you take classes that have absolutely nothing to do with IT, where you learn about history or linguistics or anthropology, etc. And there is something to be said for a society of people that have a broad base of education. But I don't think that they should make you pay a ridiculous amount of money over $100,000 in order to learn that. It's also for those who prefer a structured learning environment. So if you are someone who really enjoyed going through middle school and high school, college is gonna be kind of a little bit more of the same. I mean, the classes are bigger, so you get less one-on-one -on -one with the professor. So in many ways, it's actually worse. But college is very similar to middle school and high school in terms of how they actually present the information. And it's for high school graduates who are aiming to pursue a traditional path. And one of the advantages of a college degree is there are some companies out there that are stuck in the stone age and they absolutely require you to have a college degree no matter what. So there are gonna be some companies out there that do literally require you to have a college degree, even though, especially for a career like IT, you definitely don't need one. Now let's move on to the next section and talk about some of the remote jobs or just jobs in general that you can land. First of all, you can land a role as an IT support specialist. They make about 49 to $72,000 a year. You can land a role as a help desk technician. They make about 44 to $64,000 a year. And this is one of the easiest roles to land. You can also land a role as a technical support specialist and make about 40 to $71,000 a year. Network support specialist is another one. They make about fifty dollars to $79,000 a year. And systems administrator is another one. They make about fifty dollars to $94,000 a year. Now, some of the online certificates that I have talked about on my channel that are really good is going to be the Google IT Support Professional Certificate. I made an entire video about it, and it's an excellent certificate that millions of people have taken. And it's helped countless people secure jobs in IT. Another one that just came out is the Microsoft IT Support Specialist Professional certificate as well. And it's also hosted on Coursera. And by the way, both of these are going to be linked down in the description and the pinned comment below so you can check them out. And this will help you to gain hands-on skills and industry recognized credentials in order to jumpstart your career. So this is one that just came out, but so many companies out there use the Microsoft suite. I mean, think about it. You use Microsoft if you've ever used Excel or Microsoft Word. So many companies out there use the Microsoft suite. And so when they see this on your resume or on your LinkedIn profile, it's going to look really good. So definitely worth worth it to check it out. Link is in the description and the pinned comment below. Now let's talk about the benefits. So for the IT professional certificates, let's get into the benefits of these and taking them on a platform like Coursera. So first of all, here's one right here and you've seen that 174,000 people have reviewed it and has a 4.8 star rating, which is absolutely nuts. They say that it takes about six months to get through it at 10 hours a week. That is far, far longer than it actually takes to get through it. In reality,
reality, most people report they get through it in a month. So it's actually quite quick. And these certificates are actually very affordable. So a traditional college degree is gonna cost you over $100,000 on average. And if you count opportunity cost, or if you go to a nice school and you count the amount of money you're gonna pay in student loan interest, it can balloon all the way up to over $500,000. However, certifications and certificates in general typically cost anywhere between $100 and $2,300. And if you take this on Coursera, it's going to cost you only about $49 because that's how much it costs per month. And Coursera has a seven day free trial. Again, check it out down in the description in the pinned comment below. And by the way, I am partnered with Coursera as an affiliate. So if you do end up clicking that link and then buying it, I will get a small percentage of the sale. Just wanted to be completely forthright about that. However, I have been promoting Coursera far before I partnered with them because I think that they're awesome. So the shorter time commitment is an amazing perk and benefit to this. Another benefit is the access to up-to-date industry knowledge and skills. Colleges, like I said before, in many cases will actually teach you stuff that was good five 10 or even 20 years ago, but isn't necessarily very useful now. Companies, on the other hand, are only going to teach you the skills that are in demand on the job market right now. In fact, that is literally why they started making these certificates, because they noticed that colleges were not teaching people the skills that they actually needed. And they were having a bunch of people flooded onto the job market that didn't have any in-demand skills. And another perk of taking the Coursera certificates is you basically get to dip your toe in the water when it comes to the actual skills that you'll be doing on the job. So in college, you might spend the first two years learning stuff that you will literally never need to use on the job. Whereas with these certificates, you're only gonna learn job ready skills. And because of that, you basically get to dip your toe in what it would actually be like to do the job in a bunch of different careers. So if for whatever reason you don't like IT, it just bores you after taking the certificate for a few weeks or even a few months, well, guess what? You can just go ahead and take a different certificate and see what it's actually like to work in that career. Whereas as most people will invest four to five years into college, and then they finally figure out what it's like to actually work in the career, and in many cases, they hate it. Next, let's talk about the benefits of a college degree. First of all, you get a comprehensive education. This means you're gonna know a little bit about a lot of different things. Laos. And I think that's actually pretty awesome. The only problem with it is you pay an arm and a leg for it. There also can be networking opportunities. So one of the things that you absolutely cannot take away from college is the fact that you are going to network with other like-minded individuals. You're probably gonna make friends that end up being your friends for life. And you are gonna have opportunities to network with professors and even companies that come to campus. So that is a huge benefit of going to college. You also have a recognized credential. Say what you want about college degrees, they are losing their value. More and more companies are dropping the need for you to have a college degree. And it is becoming basically a norm where everybody has a degree and so therefore a degree isn't valuable anymore. But with that being said, there are still a lot of companies out there that do recognize that college degrees make you look better. There's many companies that will only hire you if you have a college degree. And there's many other companies that will give you preference if you you have a college degree. So there is still value to a college degree, whether it's kind of a fake synthetic value or not. You also have access to resources. So oftentimes colleges will give you access to resources such as the library or journals that cost a lot of money, different research facilities, career services, extracurricular activities, and of course the professors themselves. Now it is debatable how useful these career resources are. And I think that most students don't actually make use of the resources because they're too busy doing other stuff. <laughs> But with that being said, the resources are there. Now let's talk about the barrier to entry of certificates versus college degrees. For certificates, there are minimal prerequisites. Most online courses do not care if you have a specific academic background or any prior experience. This means they're open to just about anyone looking to jumpstart their career. And this means that they're more inclusive to people from all different backgrounds, whether you come from a very tough, poor environment or you came from a rich environment. For instance, with the Google IT Support Professional Certificate, it's beginner level, there's no experience needed, and it is extremely affordable at $49 a month. So there's an extremely low barrier to entry. Now let's talk about the barrier to entry for college degrees on the other hand. For academic prerequisites, in many cases, in some IT courses, they require you to have 61 credit hours of coursework. And this typically corresponds to the coursework completed in the first two years of college, which is approximately an associate's degree. And in many cases, they require that you have a high school diploma or something equivalent.
England. And on top of that, there is an admissions process. So admissions can be very competitive. It requires application forms, recommendation letters, and sometimes interviews. And in some cases, you're even required to complete and pass a few courses before they let you into their program. And of course, the biggest barrier to entry for a college degree is the outrageous cost in the United States of America. As I mentioned before, the average college degree costs over $100,000, and that doesn't count opportunity cost of the time that you could have been working if you went straight into the workforce, or the average interest that a person is going to pay over the life of the loan. So they are outrageously expensive, and many people estimate that the true cost is over $500,000. So what are your thoughts on whether or not a college degree is worth it? Comment down below, I'd like to hear. And next, let's talk about the cost. We've kind of already gone over this before, but yeah, Coursera, $49 a month, college degree, over $100,000. But let's also compare it to something like a CompTIA certification. So CompTIA certifications range all the way from about $130 all the way up to $466. And there are certifications that cost even more than that. Whereas a college degree, the average cost of a four-year tuition is $108,000. And if you go to a private college, it's going to cost you about $42,000 a year. And by the way, bachelors don't take four years. They take 5.1 years on average. So that'd be $42,000 times 5.1 years, which is well over $200,000. And that doesn't count the opportunity cost of the time that you could have been working in the workforce if you just went straight into the workforce. And it also doesn't count the student loan interest that is going to build up. So yeah, college degrees, outrageously expensive, certificates, very affordable. And especially Coursera certificates are extremely affordable. Next, let's talk about anecdotes. So what does the IT community say about certificates and certifications versus college degrees? So this person asks, I started my Google IT support cert, but looking at CompTIA A+, it seems a little bit more appealing. Should I focus on CompTIA A+, over Google IT cert? And basically the answer for most people here is get both. And they say they actually learn more from the Google cert. And that is kind of the general sentiment. Uh, CompTIA is kind of the gold standard. It's really well recognized, but there's other certifications that are objectively better. They're just maybe not as well recognized. But over time, the Google cert is getting more and more well recognized. So it's, you know, it's pretty good. And generally speaking, the sentiment about the Google IT support certificates is very, very good. Now let's talk about college degrees. There are many people, of course, who have gotten IT jobs with a college degree in IT. So you can get a job with a degree or with certs. It's pretty much that simple. Next, let's talk about the dedication needed. For IT professional certificates, you could probably get them in, you know, a few weeks, maybe a few months. Maybe you end up getting a few of them as well. So let's say it takes you, you know, something like six months. For college degrees, it is going to take you 5.1 years on average for a bachelor's degree. And it takes about 3.3 years to get an associate's degree. So it takes significantly longer to get a college degree. Now for IT certs, you do need to have a lot of discipline, right? Because there's not going to be a teacher there to tell you to do stuff. There's not going to be someone there to say, hey, you're not doing very well. So you need to have a lot of discipline because you're not going to have the structure of a traditional classroom. So it's important to stay committed and manage your time effectively. With college degrees, on the other hand, there is coursework and study. There's tests that you have to take. There's exams. There's professors to give you feedback. There's people to hold you accountable. So if you're the type of person who needs that, then maybe a college degree would be a bit better for you. We've talked a lot about the pros. Let's talk about the cons of each one. So for IT certs, there's less networking opportunities because you're just taking a cert online and it's just generally harder to build professional connections. And it's probably not going to be quite as comprehensive as a traditional degree. However, you're also not going to learn a bunch of stuff that you don't need to know. For college, there's the cost and student loan debt, and you learn a bunch of stuff that you don't need to know. And it takes much, much longer, which is going to cost you a lot when it comes to opportunity cost. Colleges also tend to be very rigid. So it takes them a long time to adjust to new trends, which is why oftentimes you'll end up learning stuff that was good 5, 10, or even 20 years ago. However, it's not as useful now. Now, now let's talk about some recommended courses and certs. The Google IT Professional Certificate is phenomenal. I've done a whole video on it, it's excellent. The Microsoft IT Support Professional Certificate is great too. It just came out, definitely check it out. And there's some other IT related certificates on Coursera that are really good as well. So my final decision, if you are looking to start your IT career quickly, flexibly and without breaking the bank, an IT cert is going to be the way to go. It's much cheaper, you basically get to dip your toe in. And if you don't like it, you can do something else. Whereas with a college degree, when you spend $100,000 on something, you're kind of stuck. I 
declare bankruptcy! And the best thing is, if you decide for whatever reason you want to get a college degree later on, you can always go back and do it. No problem whatsoever. But with a college degree, you're dedicating 5.1 years of your life on average, significant student loan debt, and during that time, you're probably not gonna be earning anything. On the flip side, with a professional certificate, within maybe three to six months, you'd probably have your first IT job, and after 5.1 years, you're gonna know a ton because you've been learning on the job the whole time. If you do decide to get a college degree, I do recommend checking out W. GU. I've made a lot of videos about them is that's a way to get it faster and cheaper than a normal IT degree. But overall, I think the IT professional certs are the way to go because they're super cheap. There's not a huge barrier to entry. You're not investing a bunch of your time, effort and money, and they're still really good. And you can actually just land a job with just the IT cert. Now, by the way, if you haven't done already, check out the video that I did on the Google <laughs> IT support professional certificate, and you can check that out by clicking right here.